Hi guys, I'm going to try to show you how to tie a gurgler today. I will be tying it on a number two Gamagatsu little hook, but uh, I usually use a Mustad um, 34007 hook too, so you can use whatever you want. Uh, the gurgler is a, is a pretty cool fly, it's a great topwater for down here, the Lugano Madre. Um, and the one I'll be tying today is going to be all white. So, um, just kind of get started. Now the classic gurgler for tail is going to use bucktail and maybe a little flash. I like to get creative with them. Um, I, I really like marabou, I really like rabbit hair. Today I'm just going to put in this bucktail, but whenever you're tying your own, I think you can do a couple of different things to get more movement out of it, but this is the old school way to do it, so let's purpose of this video do it the right way. Go ahead and tie in your bucktail. Cut off the extras. And I usually go ahead and add my crystal flash here. I'm going to be using a pearly crystal flash. Um, the stuff I have right here actually also glows in the dark, so I really like to use this fly under the lights uh, for speckled trout. I've had some luck with it there. If you fish it slow, it looks remarkably similar to the white shrimp. They're out there swimming on top of water too. So we're just gonna tie in a couple of those, a couple of strands of the flash on top. And cinch that down real good. At this point, you can go ahead and put some head cement on. Just make sure that tail sticks in there, it doesn't get pulled out later on. I'm just gonna use little sallies. And invariably, I always put too much. Just wanna get a little bit on there. Let that dry. Now for the, the body of this fly, the big recognizable section of it is created from craft foam. Uh, and I've already pre-cut a piece here. This is something you can buy uh, probably at any lobby or ho hobby store, Hobby Lobby, Marsh, uh, Michaels, any of those stores. It comes in big sheets like this. And it comes in a variety of colors. And uh, I like to use those other colors often, especially the red. You can get brown, black, any colors you want. One thing that I do before I tie it in though, is I will cut just kind of a little point on it for where I first tied in and that helps me or prevents me from creating too much bulk. So first you tie in your foam right on top of where you put in that head cement and you just want to cinch that down Make sure it's on there good and tight. Okay. And there's one other piece of the puzzle. And in this case, uh, just a little hackle. This is a cheap hackle I also bought at a hobby store. Don't want to use my nice stuff. But you can go ahead and tie that in. And put it right on top of that foam. And you can go ahead and bring your thread up to the front of the hook, right in front of the eye. 
And what you're going to do here is first we're going to go ahead and polymer that hackle forward. And you know, I don't know, the, the guy who originally designed this fly, Jack Cartside, I don't know what, what his idea was with. I think uh, I, I read that he adapted it from a foam beetle. So I think in that case, these little, this polymer hackle is supposed to put like, look like legs. And in the saltwater arena, especially if you're trying to imitate a shrimp, like I was saying earlier under the lights, uh, I think <laughs> this also really adds to that. It looks kind of like shrimpy little legs. Okay, now all you really do is just fold this foam forward and lay it down on top. And then I'm going to move my thread here pretty close to the eye of the hook. And leave a little bit of a loop back there. Don't pull it too tight on the foam. And then just come in with a loose wrap first. This thing is going to try to spin on you, so you want to hold it. And as you tighten it up, one thing I like to do often is kind of pinch it on both sides with my fingers to coax that foam into the shape I want. And you're going to want to put a couple of wraps on there. This part of the foam is going to want to spin on you if you're not getting it, if you don't get it very really tight. So you can see what it looks like there with the hook guy, and I've got a lot of extra foam here. Um, depending on your preference, you may want to trim that off after you're done finishing the fly. Go ahead, and I like to put up a little thread base here in front of the foam too, which helps to make that lip stick up a little bit. But the gurgler isn't a normal popper. It's not meant to make a lot of noise. That lip, I don't think you want it to stick up too much. And when you fish this, if you, if you strip it pretty quick, you can get a nice little spray of water. Otherwise, you're kind of just creating some disturbance on the surface. And I mean that's pretty much the fly. I like to trim this lip a little bit. Sometimes I'll give it a round shape. I'm gonna see where it lines up there with the hook guy and just leave a little bit in front. And maybe round off the corners a little bit. There it is. Nothing fancy. It's a real simple top water fly to tie and it's pretty popular. Um, I, I love this this color in all white. Big fan of it, uh, especially with that pearly flash because that stuff will glow in the dark, and I can use this out during the day or under the lights. But uh, there it is. There's your gurgler. It's a great fly to tie, and uh, I encourage you to experiment with it.